Forest fans, uh, obviously, they were gutted when they sacked Stevie Cooper. Would anybody swap him now for Nuno? Because he has just done a job that no one would have thought he could do that well, right? No no way. Not right now. Stevie Cooper, the job he did was fantastic, getting him out of the championship back to the the Premier League. But no, what Nuno's done, I mean, they're currently eighth. They're playing some really good stuff. Um, No, I can't see it. He's getting the best out of some of the players as well. I mean, that Palace result... 1-0, 1-0, just get the job done. He's getting the best out of Chris Wood. Morgan Gibbs-White's fantastic. I like Morello at the back as well. Um, Ryan Yates gets about it, gets about the pitch as well, puts himself about. Alanga hut the door. They've got so many players in that squad that I really, really like. And I'm, I'm guessing now, we see him get into Europe with Wolves before, don't we? He had, he had a period at Wolves where he got him into Europe, didn't he? And I, that was the front three of Jimenez, Jota and Traore. And they used to cause carnage, those three. But I like the three of Wood, hudson Adoy, and... And Neil Langer. I think they can cause anyone problems. I watched them against Liverpool. Yeah, they didn't start. But once he brought them onto the pitch, certainly El and Hudson Odoi, the complete the game completely changed. Those two can go past people, they can score goals, mm. they can create. And Nuno is one of those managers where if you understand what he wants you to do, which is and that's why Spurs didn't like it, because he's almost a bit pragmatic. He likes to play on the counter attack, kind of almost really solid, really stingy, not give up much space. And then when they hit you on the counter attack, they use a lot of pace going forward. I think if you buy into that, which Forrest seems to be doing, it'll, it'll get you good results. It's when clubs kind of moan about the football they want to see and he, he's not for them, I understand that. But I think he's effective. I've always liked Nuno and I think Nottingham Forest going to have a really good season. Well, I really do. When you say a really good season, right? So at the moment, as things currently stand, they're eighth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you think that they and Nuno and the fans will be thinking, we're not safe, obviously, yet you can't be. We just want to stay up. Or will they be thinking, no, 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 that, forget that. We're well and truly safe now. Top 10. Um, I think f- for them, not on Forest. I think if they finish in the top ten, that is an unbelievable. They're not going down. There's no way on the planet they're going down now. Even from this position, yeah. Even if they have a bad don't run, don't say that, Benny. No, I'm telling you, they are not going down. There's no way. I mean, I don't think they will either. But I'm just saying, we're only eight games in, right? I mean, they, they finished sixteenth in the Premier League when they first got up. Would you go, Steve Cooper? Great job. Then they finished seventeenth with Nuno last season, and then now. Um, so I'm looking at the wrong. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. Mm. So I, I think that, that for for sure, I have got no doubts that Forest will not go down at all. I just think they've got too many good players. They've given themselves a really nice start to the, the season. Everyone's mm. full of confidence. Um, and I think there's going to be there's three worse teams in them. There's, that, that, at that, least, that, at least three. You're that's right. why they're going to step. Four, there there are a lot worse teams in them. Why stop saying that? There are worse teams in that. So no, they're not going down. Okay. Right, let's move on now to the big one this Sunday where Liverpool face Arsenal at the Emirates. Liverpool have won 11 of their 12 games so far under the manager Arnie Slot. But they do face their toughest test yet this weekend against an Arsenal side that Slot believes is a fellow title contender. Uh, we all know that um, taking points from your competitor and, 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 and nobody knows in this early stage who is going to be your, your competitor or your biggest competitor. But I think we all know that Arsenal will be one of them. And then dropping points against them or winning points against them, that is always uh, important. Arsenal going to this one, four points off Liverpool at the top of the table. I know Benny, he says here, you admitted earlier in our meeting that you're scared of Arnie Slot's mighty reds. That was written by uh, Ryan, the Liverpool fan. Many Arsenal fans are already making excuses for the loss, blaming it on injuries and suspensions. So just to go down... The list of injuries and suspensions. William Saliba obviously suspended. Bakayo Saka is a doubt. He didn't train today. Um, Calafiore also a doubt. Julian Timber also a doubt. Odegaard, we know that he's injured. I think he's back next month. Um, Liverpool, of course, have got injuries and suspensions, including Alisson, Diego Jota, uh, Harvey Elliott's out as well. What's your worry in this game, Benty? Is it the fact that defensively there are question marks over Arsenal because you've got so many problems at yeah, the back? Yeah, no, also key players being out. I mean, Arsenal... Who's really... key for you? Out, out of those, Saliba, Saka okay, and no, Odegaard... Are the, the, but they're the three most important. No, I know, but who's... You know, like we talk about... Saliba. I, I wish he was there. Really? He's yeah, the one. I wish he was there. I just think he's calm, composed. I know, I know he's looked a bit rattled recently. He looked rattled for France on international duty. I think he got a bit of a, a pasting from the French media. Um, and then the Bournemouth game with the foul, the red card... But yeah, you worry when he's not there because he's just him and Gabriel have got such a great partnership, and that's what you worry about is that the him not being there, the rest of the back line because they've been in unison, haven't they? Mm. Like even even David Raya and those two in front of them. But Arsenal will have to find a way from somewhere. Yeah, it's not it's not a, tra- a travesty if they were to get beat, but it's, it's like it's not when the, you say it's not a travesty. <clears throat> 
Well, it's still a long way to go. I know, but if they lose their four points to gap, there'll be seven. I would say it's the end of their title push. And it would have been nine games played. I know, Liverpool, and already the gap's seven. Okay, but Liverpool are not going to win every single game between no, now and the end of the season. Nor Arsenal. Okay, but there's still there's still moments where we have we, there's still enough points to be able to overcome that. So I don't, I don't know if you can, mate. Yeah, I think you can. I think I think you, you can't nine it, games it, in. It though. won't be long till we're Christmas, right? And we know what happens when Man City get to the top okay, of the well, table. Okay, when we get Christmas to Christmas, time. you're going to evaluate it. But to say it's over now after one result, no, I'm saying that if the gap is seven, I still I still think you can run it down. Like if Liverpool at some stage will have a, 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 maybe a slight wobble. Yeah, but so might you. Like, I, I understand that, but my point is that it's not over. I, th- I I think personally, it's must not lose for Arsenal this weekend. Well, the, all, all big games are, are always must not lose. But I think if it was to be the, the case, I wouldn't say it's like travesty. Just like getting a point there. Although I want them to go into the game winning it, if they left the Emirates with a point, you go okay. Well, at least we haven't dropped points to the rivals, so we go again. Because mm. at some it's point, the home games against sides like Liverpool, you, it's not only winning home games, but it's taking points off your rivals. You can't. I don't think you can win a league if you don't take points off them. Because who who well, else? That's, well, that's that's obviously false. Because we took four points of City and didn't win the league. I know. We'd if be, you would have taken okay. six, you might have done. No, but you talk about that's but again. That's we've taken. No, it's four, not because then they lose okay, two games. They, they drop four points. They, no, they lost. I know. But what I'm saying is, if you don't take it, you won't. Okay, but my point is, we took four and City still won. I know. And but, we and we took four off Liverpool and they still won. I know. But I'm saying, if you don't take them off, you've yeah, got no chance. Okay. You you took them off and you had a chance. Yeah, but we still and we didn't win. So, I know, but so you've got less. Not, what I'm saying, you got less chance if you don't. Yeah, but still, it, that again makes no sense because regardless, if you you could take points against them. But at the end of the day, if Man City game win other games, Liverpool, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult for Arsenal. But I'm just saying, with nine games in, you, I don't think it's like you wouldn't say for Wolves, you're rock bottom of the table, and they've got one point, it's only nine games in, there, they're gone. You wouldn't. You'd say no, they've got a chance of getting it's out different. of it. Different. Well, it's not different. They've but got one point because they've, you, got, they've got one point after nine games. It is different because there's uh, there's more teams they can catch to stay up. You've got to catch one team. My, my point is though, you're saying the title's over after nine games. You wouldn't say Wolves are down. Well, seven, you think you can make up seven points against right, Liverpool and City? But, but, but City might beat Liverpool twice. So they're six. If you win those games. Yeah, but we might beat we might beat City. You don't know these things. I wouldn't know yet. How much of a test would this be then if you oh come out goodness, if, we, be, if we're sitting be, here Monday and you've won that game? It's going to be hard. Like Liverpool are unbelievable at the minute. Mm. The way they're playing under on this lot, they have got no weaknesses. Was it? I don't know if it was with you because you've been away a couple of days this week. I, I read and I said it on the show. Arnie Slot in his entire career has never lost two games on the bounce. Were you yeah, here with me? Yeah. That's I mean, unbelievable. It's stuff. unbelievable that. I mean, you, you look at it and, and then you know what? I, you can't even say, well, he's managing here or he's managing there. I think wh- whatever level you, you manage at, mm. and even if that, say you look, even managing the conference, right? Yeah. If you don't win, lose two games in a row, ever, ever, that's it's mind blowing. That's incredible. But he's a good manager anyway. He's clear in what he wants to do. They're clear in what they do. They're dangerous. They're potent. They defend well. They're solid. They've got match winners, a good goalkeeper. He gets injured, they bring in another good goalkeeper. Good, what, what worries you about Liverpool? Apart from everything you've just said, is everything. there one or two? Everything? No, yeah, it was Salah. He's a worry. He's the worry. I, I know he's only got I think, two goals at the Emirates, I believe, but he's a worry. Trent's a worry. Um, they've got good players. Curtis Jones played well. They've got they've, they've got so many options and players that can mm. hurt you from everywhere that you've got to be on it for the, yeah. the whole 90 minutes. It, it, it's tough for you because if Saka's out, you've got players at that end. Yeah. Odegaard's out, you've got players in the middle. Mm-hmm. Defensively, you've got players missing as no, well. Like, I don't it's like, all over the I, place. I don't like when Party plays at right back. No, I in fact, I hate that it. That will probably happen. Yeah, I hate it. I just don't think he's as well. Of course, he's not as effective as as when he plays holding midfield. But to put him at right back, yeah, I know. I, I just don't know. He, he's like always, yeah, second guessing, isn't he? But, but Arsenal, Arsenal are going to have to do it. Liverpool found a way to beat Chelsea in a cup final with kids. Yeah, Arsenal will have to find something if, from somewhere. If you've got those players missing, if you've got no Saliba, no Saka, we know that you haven't got Odegaard, no Timber, no Calafiori. Yeah. What do you worry will happen? What will the score be? Well, you, you worry that defensively are you going to be solid enough but then you, you, you hope from a psychological point it probably won't happen because they're a top team Liverpool that they get a bit complacent and go well listen they've got these players missing we should be alright today you know. and then all of a sudden mm. Arsenal start really fast I and mean, it's like whoa okay we're in a game and you can't quite recover I don't think it'll happen to Liverpool because I just don't think they're built like that but it's going to be a fascinating game okay. well no, it'll be a fascinating game for the neutral I'll hate every minute of it what would the score be Darren Bent? huh? what would the score be? 3-2, Arsenal. Okay. Go on, Martinelli, double. You shouldn't drink, can you? No, no more doubles for him. <laughs> Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.